Hello everyone. So today we'll be learning about some of the basic commands used in Kali Linux. Let us first understand what is a command. A command is a word or a group of words which using which and typing into the terminal we can do many operations. These operations can vary from very vary from very easy operations such as opening a folder which we will term as a directory from now on to very advanced operations such as doing reconnaissance on a machine. But we will not talk about the advanced topics for now and we will only talk about the very basic operations which we can do using the commands. So let us start. So the first command that I'm going to show you guys is the ls command. As you can see the ls command will show us the directories in that presently working directory. So the first directory which we enter while uh, going into the terminal is the home directory. And now the uh, the things that we see right now, are, uh, such as Android, architecture, desktop, and so on, are the directories or folders in that particular home directory. So there are further uh, applications using the ls command, such as ls space star, and then enter. So here we can see the, the entire uh, folders uh, which are uh, inside the folders. Uh, that is the directories uh, inside the architecture directory, the directories inside the desktop directories and so on. Basically it gives us the tree structure of the directory for uh, a thing. Uh, so we type clear to, get, uh, to clear up our terminal. And then there are uh, other applications such as ls minus l. So what the ls minus l does is that uh, it will show us the time of creation of that particular directory as well as the permissions given to that directory. So what we mean by permissions basically we will discuss later. But uh, for now we, will sh we shall understand the, there are some particular things we can do with a directory and some things we cannot. So those are termed as permissions and we can also see here such as March 23, 21, the uh, issue 36. This is the time of creation of the Android directory. Cool. So, and last uh, application of the ls command is that ls minus a. What this command does is that it will show us the hidden for directories as well. So, typing it, we will see that they these are some added directories and files which we can see right now. And we, as you can see, these uh, there is a dot. Uh, at the first of the directory name. So dot signifies that this particular directory is hidden. And we can see that, uh, see that now using the ls minus a command. We cannot see the, those using the ls command, but uh, LS, the minus a uh, adds the, adds the future, uh, feature of uh, viewing the hidden for directories as well. This is the cd command, which changes, uh, which stands for change directory. So using the cd command, we can navigate through our directory system. So basically, if uh, we are, uh, for example, let me show you, ls, so here there are tons of uh, directories right now. And uh, let me, so how do I get into a directory? Uh, for example, let me get into the directory of downloads, which is right here. So let me do cd downloads. And we cannot see anything right now, but as we do ls, we will see the files and directories inside di downloads, which signifies that we are inside the downloads directory right now. So, and another feature of the cd command is that we, using the cd command, we can jump back to the home directory. Just, uh, we just have to type cd in our terminal and then push enter, and then we are back again in our home directory. Uh, so how can we know that? So let us do ls again, and we will see that we are back in the home directory. to talk about uh, one other feature is that uh, using the cd command we can uh, not only enter into one particular directory but we can jump several directories at once so that's uh, for example let me go into cd tutorial slash and now we are actually in india directory inside the tutorial directory so that is a uh, and how can we know that we are inside the india directory so that we can know by using another command that is the pwd command 
and pwd command stands for presently working directory it will show us which directory we are currently right now in and as you can see we are in the india directory right now and so let us go to cd right now again so that we can jump back to the home directory so i will demonstrate is the mkdir command which stands for make directory so let us do let us uh, first enter into the tutorial directory and let's just do ls right now and we can see that these are the directories inside the tutorial directory china france india italian us so how can we uh, input new directories right here so let us do mkdir and i and uh, we can uh, add another country for example let us say mexico right okay so that's where is the new one my part so mexico mkdir and now we do ls and we can see that we have another directory present here which is mexico uh, and one of the fun parts of mkdir as the mkdir is that we can create multiple directories at once for example if we do mkdir and name several countries at once we can have all those at uh, as our directories for example if we do for example let us enter a directory name i and have a directory name a and ha have a directory name r and have a directory name t so mkdir uh, sorry that's a mistake on my part again so that will be m so mkdir i r a t so these will uh, mkdir will make several four of the directories separately as we hit enter and do ls we can see that we have the directory a we have the directory i r and t as well now one will be showing you is that uh, the touch command so what is the touch what the touch command does is uh, it creates a file uh, a file is different from directory though because uh, a directory contains several files and directories also but a file will not contain such as uh, uh, multiple files or directories so let us demonstrate t u c h and uh, we write a name as per our choice for example let us say animal right so uh, the touch command will uh, give us a new file which is the animal file see the animal will the animal is here it is actually not a directory but a file okay so and we can also do, uh, do for example a uh, dog dot txt now several of uh, several people have this doubt that uh, the txt extension will actually help us uh, give a text file but that is not so because the touch command uh, the extensions here in linux doesn't work that way uh, every uh, file we enter in uh, using touch will uh, automatically be a text file so if for example if we do enter a dog.png file it will not actually give us a png file it will only give us a text file by the name of dog.png so the entire thing is actually the name and the text extension remains a text file okay so now that we understand this let us uh, do one more thing and that is the touch minus t uh, the the th uh, using the touch minus t command we can basically change the timestamp of a file what do i mean by that is that uh, the we can change the creation time of a file for example let us do ls minus l right now and we will see that the animal folder file was just created right now right so here we see that the animal file was created in uh, 6:29 right now 6:29 pm so uh, how do we change that we can change that using the touch minus t command we now do the touch minus t uh, followed by the year 2016 for example and then we enter the month for example if we have want to have the march the month march as a file creation month so 03 and then the date uh, date for example maybe 19 and then the hour and minutes 
so the hour and minutes for example let me say uh, at 8.05 pm and then we enter the file name which is animal so as we do ls minus l right now it will show us that the timestamp has been changed see the year has been changed to 2016 and the date has been changed to 19th march so that's how we can change the creation time of a file